Hello and welcome back to Mrs. Torres' YouTube channel. Today we are going to begin really talking about quadrilaterals. So let's take a look at page 3 in our notes packet. We're going to use this polygon to the right and answer some of these questions. So first, classify the polygon. Well, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is a quadrilateral. Now number two isn't so much a question as uh, a request, so sketch the diagonal from B to D. Do your best, make it as straight as possible. I know it won't be perfect because we don't have rulers. When I do that, how many triangles are created? Well, I've got one on top, one on the bottom, so I've got two triangles. Now remember from chapter four that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180. So we have 180 degrees here and 180 degrees here. So we can conclude what is the sum of the interior angles of a quadrilateral? Well, just add those up. 360. So that is the quadrilateral's interior angle sum uh, theorem, sorry, the sum of the measures of the interior. So remember that's on the inside. Angles of a quadrilateral is 360. All right, let's put that into practice. So number one, we know three angles and we're looking for the fourth. So if we just take 360 and subtract the three angles that we know, that means the measure of angle S is 88 degrees. We can do the same thing in number two. Take 360, subtract all three angles that we know, and you'll get 114 degrees. So that means the measure of angle B is 114 degrees. Now those are pretty basic. We're going to use algebra a little more than just adding and subtracting. So number three, we're trying to find the measure of angle T. Well, angle T is right here. As you can see, that angle measure is 94x. So to get just a number, a degrees there, we've got to first find out what x is, right? Well, we know the sum of the interior angles in a quadrilateral is 360. So let's write that equation. 106 plus 94x plus 85x plus 75 equals 360. Then we've just got to combine like terms. So 106 plus, uh, plus 75 gives you 181 plus 94 plus 85 will give you 179, I think. Yes, 179x equals 360. Subtract 181 from both sides. 179x equals... Look at that, 179. Divide both sides by 179, you will get x equals 1. Now, we know x equals 1, but that's not what we were asked for. We were asked for the measure of angle T. So to get the measure of angle T, plug 1 in there. You'll get 94 times 1, which is 94 degrees. So that means the measure of angle T is 94 degrees. All right, that's it for today.